What is up guys? It is the Turtle Girl. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about how to keep your turtle tank clean. So I'm going to be giving you my top three or actually more like 3.5 tips on how to do this. The first tip I've got for you is feeding your turtle in a separate container. This is so helpful when trying to manage waste in an aquarium because a lot of that waste comes from uneaten food when you're feeding your turtle inside a tank. When you feed them in a separate container, you just completely remove that from their environment and any leftovers that they don't eat is just not even in the tank so you don't have to deal with it. Remember when you're feeding them in a separate container, aquatic turtles do need water to swallow their food so you're gonna put water in that little separate bin and although it can take some time for them to get accustomed to it, once they do it's super helpful for managing waste in an aquarium. I do have another video on how to do this which you can check out up here but with that being said let's move on to tip number two. The second thing you can do to keep your turtle tank clean is getting an appropriately sized filter. Most people recommend a filter rated for two times the amount of water volume in your tank. So if you have a 40 gallon tank filled all the way up, then you're gonna want a filter rated for 80 gallons. Now the reason we do this is because turtles make a lot of waste. And not just in the terms of bio load, but also in the terms of just waste particles floating around the tank. So you want to have a good filter that's able to handle that. This brings up an interesting point between water quality and water clarity. When we talk about water clarity, we mean how clean the water looks. If there's waste particles floating around, if there's stuff at the bottom of the tank. When we talk water quality, we actually mean the ammonia, nitrite and nitrates that are produced from the waste being broken down. So even if your tank looks dirty, it's possible that your nitrogen cycle is fine and the filter that you have is able to process all the waste that your turtle produces but if your tank is like looking dirty and what you want is water clarity then adding more filtration can help because you have more space for media to actually capture those physical waste particles put it this way think of a filter as like a trash can and the bigger your trash can is the more waste it can hold I do have some more videos on filtration and I'm planning to do more so leave a thumbs up if you're excited for that this brings me to my third tip and also my 3.5 tip. They kind of go along with each other. Continuing with the analogy of a trash can, once that trash can gets full, you need to empty it somehow. You need to take it out to the dump and throw it away so you can have more space in that trash can for more waste to accumulate and the cycle goes on and on. In a turtle tank, really the only ways to remove that waste from the aquarium is by doing water changes and by cleaning your filter. Now with water changes, this mainly focuses on water quality. Other than plants, it's the only way to remove nitrates from your aquarium because if you think about it, this is all the closed system. Even though the filter will make the tank look cleaner by removing those waste particles, that waste is still floating around in this tank being broken down. And although a routine water change schedule will be different for everyone based on their ecosystem and their bio load and their filter, my general recommendation for most people is 30 to 50% either weekly or bi-weekly. Like I said, it depends, but that's kind of like a good starting point. Test your water, figure out what you need to do to keep your aquarium balanced and to keep your nitrates low. Water changes are also a great way to get the layer of debris that can accumulate on the substrate. You can use a handy thing called a gravel vac or an aquarium siphon. I will link one in the description below. That is a must have if you have a turtle tank, you need it to do water changes. So definitely check that out. The other thing you need to do to keep your water clean is cleaning out your filter. This is something that a lot of people overlook, but just like with water changes, that doesn't change the fact that that waste is still in this system. Even though it's trapped in the filter, that can eventually build up and your water will get really dirty no matter what you do if you never clean your filter. Now the frequency on this varies widely. It depends on how much waste your tank is producing, how much media you have in your filter, how fine that media is, so like how quickly does it get clogged up. But I would say a good average to shoot for is probably bi-monthly, but like I said, it depends. My canister filter downstairs, I'm lucky if I get around to cleaning it every six months, if not a year, because it's just such a hassle to clean it. But because there's so much media in that canister filter, it can handle a lot before the tank starts getting dirty. Whereas this filter in this tank, I have to clean it like every month and a half, two months before it starts getting clogged. So it depends on your system, but clean your filter. Remember when you do this, clean it with tank water so you keep the beneficial bacteria alive. You don't have to do this, but in my experience, I found it to be 
helpful. I plan on doing another video on this, so make sure you stay tuned for that. This is something you really can't overlook if you want a clean turtle tank. It's not just to set it and forget it. This is a system that needs constant maintenance, so just remember that. So those are my tips for keeping your turtle tank clean. If you found these helpful, please leave a thumbs up down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next Friday. Have a turtly awesome day. Bye-bye!